Hi, this is Jay Pearson, Certified Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. Today we will take a look at how to place a key feature on a motor shaft and also on the inner bore of, say, a coupling. Uh, this could be used on any kind of shaft or coupling that would require a key. Today what we're going to look at, uh, this is a 12 millimeter shaft on this motor here and we're going to be placing just a standard uh, metric key seat right in this area and then we'll be placing a corresponding um, key seat uh, key groove in the coupler here. So in order to do that, rather than draw everything manually, uh, I think what we'll do is today we'll take a look at how to use the built-in design library that SolidWorks provides for us. So on the right over here we have our design library, these library books. Uh, within that design library, if we expand this, if we go to our features folder right here, there's the inch and the metric. Today we're going to be working uh, in the metric folder using the keyways. So let's place a keyway on this shaft right here. So we're going to open this part. And again, I'm in the part mode right here. Uh, I've got this standard shaft. Again, we know it's 12 millimeters uh, because we can, we should know this before we start working on things anyway. Uh, at any rate, in order to put a key on to this shaft, what we will do is we'll hit the, again, we're using metric. We'll go to keyways. And then down here, you see this icon. And this is the shaft on the motor. Basically, it's, uh, we have the inner cutouts and we have the shaft cutouts. So in order to do this feature, what we do is we just drag it out here. It says to place the feature, drop it on a face. Okay, so most shafts are going to have a face. We could use a plane also. Now, take notice that you'll see a keyway cutout. Notice that it's way back here in the motor and this will be taken care of uh, through the adjustment of some dimensions. So standard shaft size here Notice what we look over here and we have basically a range that says this is the shaft diameter range. Well, we want to scroll down. Down here is 8 by 10. So we want to find the 10 to 12. So we have two options. Uh, in the standards library, you can either put a 4 millimeter key or a 5 millimeter key on a 12 millimeter diameter shaft. Uh, for this example, and I think the most standard would be to use a four millimeter key. Now we're prompted when we select this <clears throat> for a few more values. So it wants an, an edge. I'm going to go ahead and expand this over here. And it says, well, what edge do you want me to refer to here? So we are going to pick this edge here. Now notice that we still don't see our key seat. So let's expand this. And it says angle from vertical. So distance from the face. This is the one that's going to bring it into view. I want this to be five millimeters from the front. Now you'll notice that this brought the keyway into view here, but it's still kind of long. So I click in here. I'm going to make my slot. Uh, this is a standard size, 10 millimeters. Now the motor has, you know, a top flange and this part is going to be spinning in reality, but we don't need to have it spin here. So if, if you needed to set this at 90 degrees, you could, uh, for this example, we'll set it at zero or 360 degrees. So that is again, how you drop a key onto a shaft. So it's very easy. So let's hit okay. You notice we have a library feature part here. We'll hit save. If we go to our assembly, now we see that we have a key here, but what about this uh, coupler? We need a corresponding slot. So let's put a key slot in here. Now we can do this. We can put a key slot in here by just using a reference surface, or we could use a reference plane. Uh, there are, are advantages or disadvantages to either. Uh, for this example, we'll go ahead and use the plane. So with this, we're going to drag and drop a bore on and we're just going to drag this right onto that plane. Now, the reason I dragged it onto the plane is a plane has a vertical and a horizontal uh, representation within it because I just created this plane normal to a front or a right plane. So if we scroll down to our list, 
Remember our shaft was 12 millimeters, so I'm going to use a 12 millimeter configuration for the bore, even though the bore might be a little bit different. So I can adjust the values here if I need to. I'm going to go ahead and use the standard values. Now it says choose a reference edge. All it's asking for is an edge and it says unable to create library feature with the selected references. That's okay. Hit okay. It'll bring it back. And what it has to do is it has to do with the plane direction. So once I selected that, it reversed the position of the plane and then it was able to build that feature. Again, like I said, if we wanted to override this, we can certainly type in whatever we want. These are the standards, and it, it doesn't mean you have to use them. You can customize them. But this is just a very fast way to create these features. So if I go back into my assembly, now I've got a keyway on a shaft. Let's go ahead and add an alignment there. So we'll go mate. And let's add a parallel alignment between that face and that face. And we'll go ahead and reverse it to bring that up to the top. All right, so got this set up, but we would still like to have a key in there. So using library features, we were able to build these. We still can take advantage of the toolbox. So because this is metric, I'm just gonna go to the JIS keyway uh, um, pull down here because in the ANSI we're only given the option for square keyways. In the JIS or DIN libraries we're given the options for these round keys. So what I do is I just drag this key out here. I'm going to set it on that and then if you remember right our slot was 10 millimeters long by 4 millimeters wide and so I can come in here and I can say well Let's make this a 4x4 four four with a length of 10. If I so choose, I could make this a length of 12. You notice that the slot is along the straight, and the key is actually to the edges of the radiuses. So we hit OK there. When I drag that in, I'm not going to drag another one in. Let's add a mate here that says this edge and this edge are coincident. Looks good. Depending on your design, you could make this longer or shorter. But if we look straight at this, you can see now that we have a key, you could add another mate if you so choose to hold that in place, or you could fix it, and then you can slide this back. So what I'll show you here is if we look at this from the end, and I will make this transparent, you can see that the key and the sizing that SOLIDWORKS gives you is really close to what the real world uh, settings should be. So again, if you needed to make adjustments, you could, but this does allow you to quickly create these features. You don't have to draw them. Taking advantage of the library is a great thing because it's sitting right there and we're not looking up all of the information. So again, we used library features to create an external key in the coupler, we use the library feature to create this internal cut, and we use the toolbox to drag and drop a key in there. So we didn't have to draw anything. SolidWorks, again, did the work for us. So really great built-in features over here in the toolbox and also in the design library. So thank you for watching. This is again, this is Jay with Go Engineer. Please remember to go to the Go Engineer website and type in any of your information that you want to take a look at. Chances are there is a video there to show you how to do it. Thanks again. Have a great day.